How's it going on my fellow epic gamers? Welcome back to another epic video today. And today, we're starting the quarry. Now if you guys do not know what the quarry is, it is a um, a game made by the, devel the developers of Until Dawn. And Until Dawn was an amazing game. So here we go. Ted Raimi, love that guy. Justice Smith too. The cast in this game is pretty pretty great. All right, here we are playing as Lara, going on Route 919. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, I don't think I do. Begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lesbians? Lost, Max, we're oh, lost. shit. We're, just, we're in geographic <laughs> flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, yep. Yeah, honey, Forgot there's QTs in this game. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Didn't he land Columbus in Asia? Never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? I don't know anything about Christopher just Columbus. Guy who I guess. Didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my God. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, we should take the map so we can see where we are <sighs> and not be lost. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how will happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course oh, not. we're back in like the caveman days looking at actual maps. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road. Whoa. Oh, shit. Just see the lady in the back of the car. Oh, it's starting already. Whoa. Damn, we're literally like five minutes into this and shit's already going bad. And the creepy lady's gone. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. 
Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, here we go, playing as Laura. We, uh, I definitely don't think that was a bear, and it probably was not a person whatsoever. It's not so bad. So. Kill me. No, not you driving your mom's car. Vroom vroom. All right, we gotta go get the uh, the tools from the back. Got it. Snoop. Sure. Oh. Max. Why didn't you tell me? He got rejected from Landis University. Damn. Feel bad for Max. Oh, yeah, the tools. We That's what we came back here for. <laughs> Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Hell yeah, that sounds like the life right there. Anywhere's space heater, hopefully here. that doesn't catch on fire. I've had some pretty faulty space heaters in my life. Oh, hi. Do not go out there, Laura. You stay right here next to Max, where the light is. Where are you going? Just over here. Just... Laura. Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Yeah, listen to Max. What? Are you my boss? Compl hurry up! <laughs> God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, I, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. This is how we die. Let's not do this. Laura. Okay. Luck with the car. Max is smart. He's not going. He said, if you die, you die. I got a car. I'll just hop in and drive off. This is dumb. This is very, very dumb, Laura. I hope you know that. You are a blonde, so I guess this makes sense. No offense to any blondes out there. That's a joke, I swear. I love blondes. <laughs> Oh, it's the same lady, it looks like. Clue discovered. A poster. Cool, we got a cool little poster. That's not gonna help us out here. We got like mace or something at least, like a knife. I'll beat them to death with my phone if they come at me. You hear that, bitch? I have a phone and I'll beat you to death with it. My bill's gonna be high as fuck after that, but that's okay. Handcuffs? Someone was getting kinky out here, it looks like. Look like a raincoat with handcuffs? Huh. The bears are getting down and dirty.
I guess let's keep going this way. That was a very useless cutscene, but okay. You know. No. Do not do that. You stay over there and I'll stay over here. Actually, I'll just keep walking this way and you stay there. The more distance I get from you, the better. I ain't no Silas. Oh, and there's like wolves over there too. Have I uh, mentioned I don't like this very much? <laughs> oh no. I would just run, be like, I didn't hear anything. Oh! There's a fucking creepy old lady in the woods whispering sweet nothings in my ear. I don't like it. Ooh. Duck. Haha. -ha. Ugh. My brand new shoes. I got these at Spencer's. Hey, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? Is everything alright? Holy shit. Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was. There was noises all around me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yes, there we go. Fern like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! All right, you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Hi. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, hey, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Uh, the car was just like yeah. this when we found it. When we just got into it because we like cars. Uh, we'll just be honest. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... Now here we are. Something jumped out? Uh, it was darker, an animal. It was dark, I guess. I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. I... They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't... I don't... Just stop talking, Laura, you're, you're making it worse. Sir? Car running. Sir? The cop seems anxious. Oh. Is this kind of like the all time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal.
Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Uh, we're heading to camp or taking in the sights. We are taking in the sights, man. We were just taking in the sights, officer. Is that a crime? Ma'am, I'm going to take it by the tone of your voice that you were unaware that this is an open season hunting zone until tomorrow. Oh, shit. Uh, no, didn't know that. <laughs> we were kind of lost, actually. What is your intended destination? We're headed up to Hackett's Quarry. Hmm. Not the camp. It's a free place to stay, so, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get arrested. We're shot. You're not gonna make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Oh? Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Sure. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So we. Ugh. All right, about here. Harbinger Motel. That's how you get lead poisoning there, bud. Here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. <laughs> Good night! <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Alright, so to the motel we go. What a weird guy. Who says Good night like that? What? Good night. <laughs> I'm sorry, that kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> Why is this guy just sitting there? Uh, that guy was weird. Thanks for all your help. That guy was weird. That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to... Meet you. Yeah, it did look like he had blood on his neck. What happened there? Oh, man. <sighs> All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, I kind of tricked him into showing up. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my.
my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, Ooh. do I look like a ma'am to you? Not that urethra. I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I, 20's debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Max likes MILFs confirmed. Max just like me. All right. Well, we survived our first ever scene in this game. I'll take that as a win. All right, here we are. Still playing as Lara at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusion? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get yeah. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, when you call people, it's kind of very important that they, uh, pick up and you talk to them because voice messages i don't check my voice messages although i don't have my thing set up anyway so they just kind of get left in an abyss yeah break in here we go kick the door down is that like a pipe or something right there i could totally break in what is this it's like a rake or something cool well i guess let's snoop around a bit What's over here? Bunch of chairs and a window? I do not like that. There is something looking at me. We are going to go back this direction. We're going to stay away from that direction. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's go back to the car. Yeah, let's not go in there on second thought. There's something looking at me. It was very scary. I'm very freaked out. Let's just go back. What is this? It's probably a sign? Or a map? Looks like a map. Yeah, it's a map. Boathouse. Car park. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Fun. They have the most, like, cringe. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Yep, the most cringe slogan ever. Alright, it's time to uh, blow this popsicle stand. It's scary. I don't like it here. Mom, come pick me up. How do I... How do I get in the car? Do I have to get in? Am I driving? Hey, you ready to roll? Yes. No? Fuck, I guess not. I can't get in the car. Is there something I gotta go pick up before? Probably over here. Leave. Leave now. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. No, you are not. You're gonna get in that car. You're gonna drive off. You're gonna go to fucking Mexico. You're never gonna look back ever again. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. Maybe it's okay, locked up for a reason. Did you ever think about what that? Just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, no, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. You can put your eye right up there. Very smart. 
there, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Take the hammer. Hammer time. You sure? Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> uh, so someone's trapped. Yeah, okay, wrenches. We'll go with this one. So, someone's trapped. Vandalism, you love to see it. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Do you exist? Funny, Max. Hey, be careful. Yeah, Max knows what's up. Just sending Laura everywhere. Oh, Ian. Ian, are you going to eat me? I would prefer that you didn't eat me, Ian. Yeah, a blooded collar. Which should be our sign to GTFO. Oh. That is disgusting. Max? Ooh, we need to go. Oh, the thing was like right over here, wasn't it? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here. I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know. Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but. I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Oh, yep. Max? Yep, there it is. Totally a possum. Max. Oh. Max. Guess what? Oh no. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Ah uh, yeah, you're bleeding quite a lot. Sorry, Max! <laughs> I got a GTFO! I'm sure you'll be fine! Sorry! Oh, and there's drugs. And it's the creepy cop. Yep. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? I guess we really should have listened to him, huh? The quarry. 
That was definitely a way to start a game. So, uh, yeah, Max is probably dead. He was probably gonna die anyway. He was bleeding quite a lot. So, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, so this friend. is gonna be the lady that we Welcome talked to, to in between show. chapters. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. So basically you find like these cards throughout the game and every time you pick up a card, you can uh, go back to her in between chapters and she'll let you know like a premonition of the future. It's not anything like too major or anything, but it's a nice little thing if you want some guidance, which most of them don't really help, but that's okay. Chapter 1! Hackett's Quarry Forever! I fucking love this game. I just want that to be known right now. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Uh, reflective, you never know. Cynical, they'll get over it. Yeah, they'll get over it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my... <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey! <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be in line and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. All right, so here is the main cast of uh, characters. We've got Jacob here. Um, just an absolute chad. we got Caitlin, who is just the best character ever. Jake, bags, focus. Sorry, I saw some cake and I... I okay. All right, we're, we're, we're going to go. And there's uh, Ryan over here who's just kind of chilling, listening to some um, podcasts because he's just an epic man like that. What up, Ryan? Some 
Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Ah, good to know. Nice talk. Very sociable that one is. Ask him a question, just give me a thumbs up. You'll love to see it. Alright, so we gotta go get Caitlyn's bags, cause we're just she she's my queen and we gotta get all of her bags. Okay. Uh I wish that you can walk a little faster in this game, because you kinda walk like a fucking snail. But uh other than that, that's fine. In we go. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> yep. Cool. Thanks, guys. So that's Dylan. Pretty epic guy, if I do say so myself. So now we gotta find a way in uh, without using the door. So let's break and entering, because that's always fun. There, we can't go through that window or anything over there. So let's walk this way. A nice casual stroll. With some nice music in the background on a nice sunny day. This game is great. If you guys have not bought it already, you definitely need to buy it. After you watch this video, of course. Here we go. This is our entry point. Oh, skill. Hell yeah. Going into Epic Gamer Moment montage number 976 there, Jacob. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Wow, okay. Jacob's too good for horror. Which is kind of funny. He's in a horror game, but you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna let that slide. Here we are. This must be the, uh, what's it called? Ooh. Things are still loading in, it looks like. I got your bags, my queen. Right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Uh, what about you? Ooh, what about you? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Uh, I knew it, or... Sexy? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in Bunk 7, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby... Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> It's probably the best thing to do, honestly, if you guys are going to different schools, because you're probably just going to break up later. Maybe I like it. It's just a fling. Maybe I like it. Now nah, we'll go brave. We can't admit defeat. No, but I mean, seriously, come on. She's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, Mm. Surprise reconciliation, 
empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Yeah, oh, shit, I'm sorry. pretty much. That was Ryan and me. Oh. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this Caitlin is isn't buying it? Oh. We'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> oh, this is going to be a big mistake. Uh, I guess let's break the fuel line. This looks important. Hey, we're officially stuck here for another night. Let's go. We're right back up tomorrow. Okay. Pinky promise. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, Nick. Oh, Nick, you bastard. Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Jake. Ooh, good <laughs> Freak. Oh. Yeah, Gosh, bust it down. So <laughs> surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped in an emergency. Oh, Ben. Back off, dipshit. Oh, at least I got some. Uh, Look at that okay, smirk. Well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Oh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, okay, okay. Let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> very, very great cast. <laughs> and there's still more to meet! A hey, playing as Abigail. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. I was kind of tempted to just miss to see what would oh happen. <laughs> You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. 
fuck yeah, bro. Let's break in. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Hell yeah, oh, vandalism. <laughs> of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think Emma's it's a bear? proud oh, of me? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. I mean, yeah, we technically didn't really do anything. The door isn't broken. We just kind of forcefully shoved it open. It'll be fine. No crime was committed. We got our bags. It's cool. All right, there's nothing here we, got, we can look at. So let's continue onward. This looks like a big uh, radio station where Dylan does all the uh, the announcements every morning, being like, "What up, bitches? I'm Dylan." <laughs> hey there, buddy. Hey, you stop that! You want to get electrocuted, you dumb fuck? Damn, not very smart, huh? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. I think you might wake up to it one more time. Because, you know, Jacob kind of fucking destroyed the car's fuel line. So, uh, kind of stuck here again. But she doesn't know that. That's okay. It's a beautiful little area. I remember I stayed at a camp for like two days when I was like five. That shit was the funnest thing ever. I've always wanted to kind of go stay at a summer camp. Maybe one of these days I might. Honestly. I think it would be fun. And a swing. Can I swing on the swing? No? Can I push it? Oh, I can push it. Hell yeah. I'm just pushing Casper, my friend, on the... On the swing. Yeah, I uh, I really do kind of... Wait. Can you walk faster? No, I don't think you can. That's kind of something that I really wish you could do. Because we're literally walking like a snail. We had to go from all the way over there to over here. Took like five whole ass minutes. Ready to roll? Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Ooh, watch out for the bomb. <gasps> oh, wow. Pro driving. Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet then why'd you quit it summer fling we're going to school like four states away I, he gets it yeah sure but that's us you and Nick could be different when you get his handle hit him up oh, I already have his email it was in the packet they gave to us on the first day his email email are you 93 what's wrong with email 
I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Who the fuck talks on email anymore? Oh, what? Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Uh, sure, let's go the scenic route. Enjoy one more look. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Um, how could they live without you, Emma? You only oh, fans, master you. inspiration. I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be like really happy you're back. <gasps> My favorite spot. The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. So Abby has a little crush on Nick. How cute. And someone is staring at us from that window. Very, very creepy. Very, very creepy indeed. Dylan! Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Damn. It was a nice try, Jake. Nice try. Crash and burn, though. Crash and burn. Ugh. Oof. <sighs> Nudge. Do it. Do it. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Just fucking throws it on the ground. Here you go, peasant. <laughs> You did great, Nick. You did great. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Where hey! <laughs> Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? It's about me. Mind your own business. Ooh. No reason to be like that. Is it about me, I guess? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast... Yeah, Slay well, Queen! And smell like a butt. Ooh. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. Burn! <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. 
the hag of Hackett's quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the hag of Hackett's quarry? You don't know about the hag of Hackett's quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the hag of Hackett's quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the hag of Hackett's <sighs> quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the hag of Hackett's quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, She'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. You should have seen the kids better than yours. You should have seen the kids. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. Uh, H. Is this a bit sus? What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Uh, sure. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Really? Okay, okay. It's working out. It's working out. 